President Ranil Vikramasinghe, in his capacity as the Finance Minister, has informed the Chairman of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka to make representations in respect of his proposed removal within seven days. The letter notes that if PUCSL Chief Janakaratnaika fails to respond to the charges within the stipulated time frame, he would be removed in terms of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka Act. The charges are, as a member and chairman of PUCSL, caused the Commission to institute an application in the Court of Appeal, contrary to the PUCSL Act. The Court of Appeal has made an affirmative finding against the PUCSL chief in the exercise of functions and conduct as a member and chairman of PUCSL. Conflict of interest created due to the PUCSL chairman's association with Trillium Property Management and Services contrary to the Public Utilities Commission Act. Publicly opposing the request for tariff revision by the CEB without following due process. Making statements targeting the Minister of Power and Energy having acted in a manner which affects the ability to exercise, perform and discharge the powers and duties under the PUCSL Act. The Public Utilities Commission Chairman responded to these allegations. Two months ago, we filed a case in court to prevent them from imposing power cuts during examination periods. Now they are telling that the Commission is at fault for filing that petition in court. That is the first allegation against me. I myself was never a party for this case. But the PUCSL was a party in this case. The second allegation against me is that I acted arbitrarily by acting beyond the powers vested on me. The third allegation is that I am distributing and selling power from a hotel I own at number 210 Torrington Avenue. This is a false allegation. The fourth allegation is that I oppose the increasing of the electricity tariff. That is also not true. I didn't oppose to the increasing of electricity tariffs. Before I went abroad on the 13th of February, I approved the increasing of electricity tariffs by 35%. We allow this increase because even we understood that this is a fair request made in order to recover from this crisis. And the fifth and the final allegation is that I criticized the minister. Actually, it was the minister who started criticizing me like a toddler. He accused me of helping the former president and he is the one who started telling everyone that they are going to fire me. All I did was respond to the accusations leveled by him against me. I am not afraid of these baseless accusations. I was actually waiting for this charge sheet. I have answered these allegations before. But I know that I can be removed by obtaining a majority vote in the parliament. You all know how the parliament of this country works. I have no issue about that. Only a majority exceeding 113 votes in the parliament can remove me. I know that they will have this vote in the near future. Until then, I will continue my service for this commission.